What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring? Like 15k. Just round it up. Go 20. 20. Good. I don't have to speak. Wait, hold on. Ring. How much is that one? I don't know. I never asked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on now, cuz. <laughs> Not on the first video. <laughs> Some looking a little suspicious. Time out. Some looking a little suspicious, dog. Good girl. Yeah. What's the lowest amount of money a man should spend on a wedding ring? Like 15. Oh, hell. On the first video. On the first video. Um... I mean, you know what? Even though they were of the, um, they were transgender, because those are two men, uh, at least they were reasonable. You know what I'm saying? 15K, that's not bad for a wedding, a wedding ring, even though, you know, listen, it's the thought that counts. All right? It's the thought that counts. If you put a price, a price tag on the ring that I'm about to buy you, I'm probably going to call the wedding off. Or I'm not going to engage you, get engaged to you at all. Because that already shows me where your mind is at. But, um, yeah, man. Damn. <laughs> First video. What's your craziest college confession? I've just been really sexually active. How many bodies have you got since you've been here? About 20, yeah. And that's, that's since July. Jesus Christ. Are you going crazy? Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm positive for type 1 and type 2 herpes. Man, it's what not, the like too big of a deal, I think. She got 20 bodies in a semester. She a serial killer. She's a serial killer. Then she got herpes type 1 and type 2. You feel what I'm saying? Where I'm from, we call that the T virus. If you ain't up on your movies and your video games, that's uh that's what's infecting the Resident Evil zombies. So actually, I made that up. I call it the T virus, cause you out here moving like a zombie. So she got the T virus. She got damn nemesis on campus. I'm gonna put a picture up so y'all see who nemesis is. But um, where your daddy at, girl? Where is your daddy at? Oh, we understand your gender reveal because you didn't want another girl. In case you couldn't tell what just transpired, um, they had a gender reveal and it was revealed that she was going to have another girl and she was upset. I'm going to be real with you, as a parent, um, that's not cool because this stuff is all over the internet. Eventually, your daughter's going to grow older, get on the internet and realize that her mother didn't want her. That's not cool. That's that's as much as I'm gonna say about that because, um, yeah, that's not cool, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. That's not cool. Shoot your shot with Doctor Umar. But I love a pan African king. Mm. You know, king I'm, Kong. Mm -hmm, king Kong consciousness. I'm I'm very pro black, so I care about my people. Mm. And I saw nothing wrong with what Sister Suki Hani had to say about her brother, <laughs> Doctor Umar Ifa Tunde. So where do I stand with Sister Sukiyama? Hey! Because, you know, with me, it's all about politics before the Punani. Uh. It's always revolution before romance. Uh. It is always institution building before institutions. Okay. Before intimacy. Liberation over lust. Business before the bedroom. Revolution over the romance. Okay. So... Me and Sister Sukihana could have a conversation. Sister Sukihana, if you would like a conversation, are you ready 
to reinvent yourself from your current style of art to a revolutionized, re-energized black consciousness form of art. Wow. Because if you are willing to reinvent yourself as the queen of black conscious music, okay. I will stand by your side. Shoot your show with Dr. Umar. But I love a pan African king. Mm. You know, king Kong. Mm -hmm. Ayo. <laughs> Dr. Umar low-key shot his shot, but I don't know, bro. You might have just shot a brick. Like, come on, folk. Ain't no... I don't want to say nothing going to get me canceled by the, by the, you know what I'm saying, by my people because I support the movement, but shit, folk, like, just take the damn money, huh? Just take the punani. Take the punani. Doing all that goddamn talking, man. I done heard in the history books MLK wasn't doing all that talking, man. MLK was out here fighting that civil rights movement and beating the brakes off. That's <clears throat> Hi, how are you? My name is Shanika. This is my grandma, Lynette. I am here making my submission for the $50,000 scholarship to help support my dreams of completing school. Okay. I'm just a little bit backstory about myself. I am applying to your doctorate program. This $50,000 will definitely help me and my family out a lot. Uh, I have my grandma I'm here just to talk about who is the most important person in my life, and it is her. She has done a lot of sacrifices for us. Mm -hmm. um, just to give a touch base, so we are from Trinidad and Tobago, a small little island in the Trinity boy. We immigrated over here. Unfortunately, when Trump was in office, he was going to deport my family, so my grandma sacrificed herself and started to become a prostitute for us. Um, this here. Here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, wait, 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 why are you talking about <laughs> You took a night cab big enough to bump us. You took out it. One told you. Don't tell me don't mind, man. Right, so it's just for the money. I have to, I have to help you out. I don't care about the money. I'm not selling my cats for nobody. Right, so she's selling herself. Hey! Hey! It's okay. It's okay. So, anyway, I'm here to talk about the $50,000 scholarship. Um, Trump is not in office anymore. So, look, look, look. So, so I'm not selling my tongue -ton for nobody. <laughs> Listen, I'm not selling my ton ton for nobody. I'm any fucking pen? What pen? Who is the man? What pen? It's been multiple men coming in and out of the house. Oh, God! Can you fuck my little sister again? Hi, how are you? My name is. Yo. I'm not going to lie, this video remind me of, like, my grandmother, but I think my grandmother would have slapped the shit out of me. You don't play with Caribbean parents like that, man. Trust me. <laughs> she said, I'm not selling my tone tone for nobody. That boy knocked out. Knocked out. I ain't gonna lie. I have never fell asleep at the barbershop before. Even when I used to have long hair. Oh, is that his teeth? Yo, <laughs> nah. Hey, oh, nah. That's his teeth. His dentures coming out. I don't know if I should be laughing at this. Make sure y'all uh, like the video, subscribe, um, yeah. <laughs>